What we want to do is we want to look at, at some problems that would look something like this. If you had one sixth and you were dividing by one half, okay? One sixth divided by one half. Well, let's rewrite that a little bit and I'll show you what they're really asking. You have one sixth, which is just a number, don't forget, and I'm dividing by, which is what this big bar means, I'm dividing by one half, okay? So here I've got one sixth divided by one half. Here I've got one sixth divided by one half. I'm just showing you what they're really asking you to do. I'm kind of writing it in a different form, okay? One sixth divided by one half, okay? The way in which you do division of fractions is, is very, very simple. You just take the top number, one sixth, and you change this division, which is this big line here, into multiplication. But when you do that, so you change it into multiplication, so you put a big dot here, that means multiplication. But you're not going to multiply by half, you're going to multiply and you're going to flip this fraction over. So you're going to multiply by 2 over 1. Okay? Now I know that that may not, may not make a whole lot of sense, but that's really what you're doing. We'll go back and talk about this part in a minute. Let's go ahead and finish the problem. Now that it's a simple multiplication problem, you just multiply the top two numbers. 1 times 2 gives you 2. And the bottom two numbers, 6 times 1, gives you 6. And then just like any problem with anything, you always check and see if you can simplify it. And here you can because you can divide by 2 and you can divide by 2. Okay? 2 divided by 2 is going to give you 1. 6 divided by 2 is going to give you 3. Okay? So that's the answer, 1 third. Notice that from here on, it was just a simple multiplication problem. You just multiply the top, multiply the bottom, simplify the fraction, and that's it. The only thing that you need to know here is when you're dividing, okay, you take the top number, and then you, you change this division into a multiplication, and then you take the bottom fraction and you flip it over, which is what we did here, one over two became two over one, and then you can multiply them. So you see, division and multiplication are kind of almost opposites of one another and they're they're almost exactly the same and once you start okay with the division you can change it into multiplication by taking that bottom fraction and flipping it over and then you can multiply so it's really really not very hard